in this chapter we will take a look at different coordinate spaces i will try to cover every coordinate space that you would hear about or you would need in the rendering pipeline and we will also understand the method of transforming one space to another in one of the previous chapters we understood the object space world space view space and the projection spaces in this chapter we will elaborate and we will understand almost every different coordinate space so let's begin with a mesh when you create a mesh in a modeling software or you generate the mesh procedurally there are usually two nodes that are associated with the mesh one is the transform node that defines what is the translation scale and the rotation of the mesh and then another node is the shape node that defines what is the structure of the mesh for now just consider the mesh there is nothing else that we have to worry about at this stage we are creating a mesh and we create a vertex that is at one unit in y axis from the center of this object the center of this object is considered to be 0 0 0 because at this point the only thing that exists is this object we don't have anything else in consideration and this vertex is at 0 1 0 because it exists at one unit in y axis so this position which is 0 1 0 of this vertex is from the center of the object or is in regards of the object itself and that is why it's considered object space position or this coordinate space is considered as object space and then we bring this object in the world so this is x axis the up axis is y this is minus z and this is positive z and we place this object at 0 10 0 which is a 10 unit in y axis so the position of the vertex in respect of the world becomes 0 11 0 because from the object space it is at 0 1 0 and the object itself is placed at 0 10 0 which is 10 unit y so the vertex is shifted at 11 unit in y axis and this coordinate space is called as world space so the object space is in regards of center of the object the world space is in regards of center of the world we will also take a look at the transformation of one coordinate space to another coordinate space but before that we will understand all the different type of spaces and now we bring the camera in the scene as well and we place the camera at 10 unit minus z and 10 unit y so the camera is placed at 0 10 and negative 10 the scene will be rendered from the point of view of camera or camera's viewpoint so we want to know where is that vertex placed in regards of the camera so we will find the distance from the camera to this object and the position of this vertex will be 0 1 negative 10 and this space this coordinate space will be called as camera space view space or i space they are all the name of same coordinate space because this is in regards of the center of the camera and here our camera is placed at 10 unit y and negative 10 unit z and then comes projection space projection space is based on the frustrum of the camera which means it should account for near clipping plane far clipping plane and fov and for the projection space this value will be 0 1.7 8.2 and 10 this value is stored in a pure homogeneous system these values are stored in homogeneous system as well but in the projection space this value can be besides 0 and 1 
And in the view space, this value is negative 10 because the z axis farther to the camera is a negative z. And that's why the value of this vertex is 0, 1, negative 10 because this is 10 units farther than the camera. In the projection space, I calculated this value based on the matrix transformation, which I will explain you later once we finish covering all the coordinate systems. So the projection space is based on the frustrum of the camera and accounting for FOV, near clipping plane and the far clipping plane. And then comes the clip space. The clip space is something that is controlled by the hardware. And just to see an overview of what clip space is, if any portion of an object is beyond, is outside this camera frustrum, this object is clipped and the coordinate space of this clipped object is called as clip space. This is something that is controlled by the hardware. We don't have the control of the clip space in shader. So we will not take a value example of the clip space. And then comes normalized device coordinate. Normalized device coordinate is in regards of this frame of the camera and the normalized device coordinate is in the range of negative 1 to 1. The center of the normalized device coordinate is 0 and 0. This will be 1 comma 1 negative 1 comma 1 and this here will be negative 1 comma negative 1 and this is 1 comma negative 1. But if we lay it down straight, this is normalized device coordinate center. So this is 0, comma, 0. And the top left corner will be minus 1, comma, 1. Top right corner will be 1, comma, 1. Bottom right corner will be 1, comma, minus 1. And the bottom left will be negative 